Hello guys, Luna here and welcome back to another guide video for Pal World. In this one I'm showing you how to get yourself a Jormantide Pal early by breeding two Pals together and getting it from an egg. Now when I say early, it's easier to get it than it is to catch the legendary boss Jormantide fight who is level 45, but the Pals needed to breed it are still a decent level and so it's not too easy, but it is still easier than trying to catch him with Pal Spheres. So we're going to get into it and I'm going over how to breed him from an egg. I'm also going to go through all the steps on how to build the breeding farm as well, just in case you've never done it before. So first we're going to build a base and you need to be at least level 19 to unlock and build the breeding farm for your pals, where you can place pals, a male and a female version, into the pen to produce eggs. There are thousands of combinations of pals to breed and only a few though will result in the rarer pals like Jormantide. Step one then is to build the pen and it's the easiest of all the steps. Let's take a look then at the pals that we need in order to breed. There are four possible combinations I know of, I'm sure there are probably more. One is breeding Anubis with Suzaku. The other is breeding Suzaku with Serpent. Third is Mamorous Christ and Warsect. But the one I've went for in this video is breeding Menesting and Pyrin. We're going to start with the toughest pal, Menesting. Now unfortunately there are no pals that you can breed to make Jormantide that are a low level except Serpent, but at least one of them will be around level 40 or so. To get Menesting you must find him in the west side of the map on the Animal Sanctuary number 2. A legendary sphere is probably your best bet to capture him and you've fully upgraded your capture rate with Lift Monk Effigies. Remember also that you need one male and one female in order to breed, so catch this one first as it's harder to get than the other one, and then your next pal you can farm until you get the opposite gender. Pyrin is found in the ruined fortress area next to the volcanic island, and fortunately is a much lower level and easier to catch. Now before you start breeding, take into consideration your pal's traits. Traits that your parent pals have can be passed on to the offspring or the egg, in this case Jormantide. So if you want to get a more powerful Jormantide, then make sure that you have good and legendary traits on your parents. As you can see from the pals I have here for example, they don't have any good traits, in fact they have negative traits, and I shouldn't really be breeding them, because my Jormantide will almost certainly inherit them and have bad traits as well. Just something that you should take into consideration when you're capturing pals for breeding. So how do you breed pals in the game? Well, drop them into your base and throw them into the breeding pen, and they will start to breed. But wait, you're missing one final ingredient, a piece of cake. To make cake, you first need the ingredients, eggs, milk, honey, and flour. And to get most of these, you can build a ranch and add three different pals for farming. You need one chicken, one cow, and one bee. And putting them in here, they will drop milk, honey, and eggs. The chicken can be found across the game, and especially right at the very beginning. For the cow, you're going to find Mozzarina, who is found just to the west and B-Guard is located in the area next to the second tower. Next we need red berries and so build a berry plantation and the seeds are found by picking berry bushes. They're located everywhere in the game, especially at the very start. Next build a wheat farm and you get wheat seeds from here. This island starting at the Cinemoth Sanctuary, any of the grass type pals here will drop seeds including wheat. And once you've collected them you can simply head back to your base and build your wheat farm and start harvesting.
After this, build a mill and use your wheat to turn that into flour, which is our final ingredient. You will also need a water pal to work the mill. Lastly, we will build a cooking pot and that requires wood, ingots and fire organs. Build the pot and you can start making cakes. You will need a pal with kindling to work the cooking pot. Once your cake is baked, move it into the breeding pen box. Remember that the cake will spoil when it's in your inventory or storage, but when you keep them in the box here, they won't go off, so make sure to keep all your cakes in here. Now it's time to breed our two pals. With the cake ready to go, pick up Pyrin and Menesting and simply throw them into the breeding pen. They will start producing eggs and it takes just a few minutes to do this. Last but not least, we need to hatch our egg. We need to build an egg incubator and it will simply hatch your egg over time. I'm not sure if fire will affect the egg because eggs can get cold, but I never placed one next to my incubator and it stayed slightly cold and I still got Jormantide, so keep that in mind. Now we wait for our egg to hatch, and after that we will have yourself Jormantide. He's not very good this one, as you can see he did in fact inherit all the bad traits from his parents, so I'll need to catch some better quality pals before I do it again. But this is how you get Jormantide the easy way in Pal World, instead of trying to capture the legendary, or pseudo-legendary, Jormantide boss who is level 45, which I showed you at the start of the video. Guys, like and subscribe for more guides on Pal World, I can make some other breeding guides as well if you'd like me to. Just let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.